Hello Glass Industry, it's Mark from Glass of Book, and here we are finally at Glass Tech in Düsseldorf. Hello Glass Industry, it's Mark from Glass Open Book here at Glass Tech Trade Fair. This year we are cooperating with Rondot Group and one of the companies that is part of the group is Novaxion. Here we are at the stand of Novaxion company where they are presenting their flagship product, Swabbing Robot, right behind me. And honestly speaking, I have always been interested in seeing them in person. And those of you who follow us for a longer time probably remember that we have made a video about the two robots, the gathering robot and the swabbing robot. So now I guess it's time to show you more about them in details. But before that, let's start with the history of the brand. Novaxion started back in 2005 by offering gathering robots for the handcraft and semi-automatic production of glassware. And just a year later, they launched a revolutionary for the time device, Swabbing Robot, to apply a specially engineered swabbing spray to the molds. And in 2019, Novaxion became a full member of the Rondot group, and here they are, the company that offers a unique solution for automatic swabbing of blank molds and neck rings on IS machines. Now it's time to take a closer look at this robot, and to help us with that, I would love to welcome Mathieu Domini, who is the technical director at Novoxion, who knows exactly everything about this robot. Hi Mathieu. Hi Mathieu. Hi, so, what is your position in the company at Novoxion? So today I'm the technical director of uh, Novaxion. So uh, I am in charge of all the technical studies and the uh, robot integration on the IS machine. Okay, I see. So did it take long to prepare these uh, machines here? <laughs> oh, that's uh, it's a system we are using in our uh, in our office to make a trial. Ah, so in see. our office we have a we have a MR section. Uh -huh. To make a trial and uh, because I am also in charge of mm -hmm. new development like the new features we are presenting today, the thermal uh, camera. I see, I see. So this basically is the swabbing robot and it's, uh, it's manufactured since 2006, I guess. Yes, the first, the first development started in uh, 2004. Ah, wow. So we installed the first one in uh, 2005. Mm. And uh, since that, uh, we, we develop a uh, different uh, version. And that's the last uh, big improvement we did on the this swabbing robot version. It's called the block valve because this the, the solution with the rail sit on the on the block valve machine. The block valve. So today we uh -huh. have two main uh, version. One uh, sit on the block valve, and the other one is the suspended. Suspended. So the the rail can uh, be installed uh, usually on the, the panel of uh -huh. the IS machine. So it's a version uh, more integrated to keep free the, the front of the machine. I see. So the suspended version is the one that can be installed on basically any IS machine. Uh, this version can be installed on any kind of machine. Aha, uh -huh, this one. And the suspended uh, version can be installed on a non mat machine because we have a contract with, uh, with mat mm -hmm. So we are manufacturing the swabbing robot for mat yeah. called the Flex Robot. Yeah. And uh, for the AMAP machine, uh, we are not allowed to install a suspended version. I so see. So the suspended version uh, is, um, is uh, possible to install it on uh, any kind of brand of other brand of uh, IS machine like mm -hmm. uh, Botero, BDF, Scrooge, or whatever. I see, I see. But the technology is the same, basically. Exactly, the technology is exactly the same. The, the robot is more or less the same. But uh, what is really important is the, the, the software used because it's is the, the um, our bet the, the advantages of the Novaction robot is the technology yeah. how to to spray the oil in the brakes. So yeah. that's the most important. After that the um, the way to install the robot is depend on the customer because some customer prefer to have uh, the the block valve mm -hmm. solution or the suspended one. 
but uh, the technology is exactly the same. I That's see. the most important thing. I see. So it's kind of clear for me that obviously it uh, ensures a more precise swabbing, a more uh, regular swabbing, yes, exactly, without any, exactly. any failures. But have you assessed maybe how much oil or lubricants is saved uh, during the, the operation? The big, the big advantage of the, of the spray and uh, the way we are spraying the oil in the, in the blinks, that's first you can save. If you compare with the manual swabbing with the brush, yeah. uh, you can save a lot of oil. So two days, depending of the, um, of the machine, because depending of the, the way to make the bottle, you have different, mm -hmm. um, different right. solution, right. the blow and blow, the an NPB, press and blow. But uh, in general, we, are, we can save around uh, 75 to 85% of oil impressive. compared to the manual swap. Impressive, yes. impressive. And sure for the, the same reason. The big advantage with the robot that uh, we are allowed to, to swab what we call on the fly, mm -hmm. so without stop the machine, to okay. swab the blinks, okay. so with more frequency. Yeah. So, because if you compare the manual swabbing and the, um, the robot swabbing, is a totally different way to swab. Yeah. Because on the manual swabbing, the, the operators, the target of the operators is to swab uh, not often, you know, because it's the big job, it's the mm. hard job, it's the smoke, there's the movement, stop the section. So with the robot, it's completely different. The way is to try to apply uh, the really low quantity of oil, really the minimum, mm -hmm. but more often. Yeah. Because the, the, the robot can walk all the time, 24 hours, 7-7, seven, seven, so it's not, uh, it's not a problem. So if you compare on the same machine with the manual swabbing and the robot swabbing, for example, with the manual swabbing, the operators will swab every half hour with a certain quantity of oil. With the robot, we will apply less oil, mm -hmm. but more often. Mm -hmm. For example, every five, six or 10 minutes. Yeah. But without stop the machine and without disturbing the production of the bottle. Okay. And the target is to apply really low quantity mm -hmm. to keep all the bottle behind good and go on the on the package. Perfect, perfect. And what is this new device? I wonder. I haven't seen it before. Yeah, it's a new new device we developed uh, this uh, last summer. It's a thermal camera. Aha. Uh -huh. So one of the big improvements uh, the last months is the new, the new software. So we are, we are making a new software to try to record as much as possible data. So now the customer is asking for, to, to, to get the maximum of data, to have a big uh, database. And uh, the robot is uh, a big part of the, um, on, the, on, the, on the machine. And we have the possibility to, to get uh, a lot of data concerning the, the quantity of oil we are swabbing. And, and we decide also to put new option to get also the temperature of the, the blanks. Mm -hmm. So what is really important with this camera, we can take the temperature of the blanks, the temperature of the rings, yeah. and the temperature of the plunger. Yeah. In one second, without stop the section. And, uh, and that's also a good advantage to see how the swabbing is um, is working on the machine and to see what is the temperature before and after the swabbing. So mm -hmm. we have many, many options now with the thermal camera to improve. At the end, uh, the, the, the target is to improve the production of the yeah. machine. So, so, so basically, it's, it works in the combination uh, through the, the software. software yes. So if it sees like the, uh, the, the blanks are too hot, yes. so it increases the amount of the lubrication uh, yes. delivered. At the, at the end is what we, we want to do. For the moment, uh, we just, uh, we're just uh, getting the temperature, uh -huh. getting the data. Yeah. And after that, uh, we will work really close with all our different mm -hmm. uh, customers to see what we can do with all of this data. Amazing, amazing. So it's so nice to see this, uh, this uh, really revolutionary product uh, in person. And thank you so much for giving us this technical thank data. You and you can find these products on Glass Open Book. Never forget. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. So, this is what Novaxion has presented this year here at Glastec in Dusseldorf. And if you have any further questions about these products or you'd love to get a quotation, pricing whatsoever, feel free to find Novaxion and these robots on Glass Open Book. They are all updated. Don't hesitate to click that request product button 
It's been Mark from Glass Open Book. See you very shortly. Goodbye.